As technology develops, so does the way that criminals operate. One of these ways is with phishing scams that use companies you trust to try and fool you into giving them sensitive information. The easiest way for them to pretend to be someone that you trust is to pretend to be your ISP. Whenever we use the internet, whether it's sending an email or just browsing websites, your ISP can be identified. When we use the internet, the IP address of our device is visible and this is what the phishing experts use to identify your ISP. All ISPs in the world have been allocated blocks of IP addresses. These blocks of IP addresses are registered to an ISP and this is publicly available information. Criminals automate the lookup of your IP address and can then identify your ISP so that they can pretend to be your ISP. This is what you can look out for on a website to identify a phishing scam. The website address does not have the same domain name as the official website of the company in it. When you click on the link, you are being asked to enter personal information that the company already has for you. You are being asked to give them banking information. Here are some ways that you can spot these types of phishing emails. The email address is usually the first red flag that you can pick up. Companies will never use generic webmail services to send out emails to customers. Check the email address for subtle changes to the domain name. For example, at jennyinternet.co.za is a real domain name, but at jennyinternet123.com is a fake domain name. You can also check emails that you previously received from the same company and compare the domain names to see if they match up. The email is not addressed to you specifically. It uses generic terms like dear, client, customer, you, instead of your real name. The grammar and spelling of the email is unprofessional and many obvious errors can be seen. How do I protect myself from phishing scams like this? Always check that the domain name of the email or website that you are looking at is the same as the official domain name of the website for the company that is on the screen. You are not being asked to enter sensitive information that the company should already have. Or you can contact the company and find out from them if it is a legitimate message. Safe browsing.